Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would share with you my January Manor Scrap Kit. So I thought I'd do an unboxing just to show you what you get in the kits and then at the end I'm just going to show you how I organise my kits now because I've just purchased the IKEA pegboard and it's kind of revolutionised how I'm now organising my scrapbook supplies. So before we get to that we'll just jump right in and see what's in the box. Ta-da! So I get the main kit and I also get the embellishment kit. I didn't watch the um, live preview video on the Facebook group so I actually have no idea what I'm getting in these kits. So I'm very excited because I can already see alpacas and I bloody love an alpaca. So I thought I'd show you the main kit first. The main kit is £21 and I can't remember how much the shipping is. I think it's £3. But if it's not £3, I'll try and work out how to do that. Or I'll put it all in the description box anyway. All the links to the Mind the Scrap um, website where you can subscribe. And then the Facebook page I will leave in the down bar. So let's just get stuck in. So I'm going to go through all of the papers first and then the um, embellishment bits after. So first up, and I can never say the name, is the Vicky Boot. Bouton, Boutin, Vicky something or other. Um, all the good things is the collection and this paper is called Pick For You and it's a really beautiful kind of bold floral but then the um, flowers look like they've been watercolored in so that's really nice and um, I do love the papers that you get where you can color them yourselves but never looks as good as what it does printed and the reverse side of that is a really vibrant orange with then a little bit more of a darker orangey almost red dot on the top second piece is from crepe paper good vibes and this piece is called life goals and this is a kind of mustard yellow with i think actually that it looks a little bit like a really pale creamy pink um, for this kind of like fern design. I might just be a little bit funny coloured in the eyes though. And then the back is a pink kind of like ledger but tapping in and out. I don't know how you describe that but, but that's quite cool. Then we have... Pink Paisley Wild Child and this sheet is called 05 and it's really vibrant, again floral but kind of a little bit more geometric this time with really cute mustard flowers and then the back is a kind of um, mustardy slightly orange geometric pattern. Just going to point out sometimes my descriptions are rubbish um, so you know don't take too much attention to what I'm actually saying you can just get an idea of the papers yourself um, this sheet is from good vibes again and it's called all good just thought i'd point out crepe paper are my favorite scrapbooking brand especially the maggie holmes collections but any crepe paper collection i just absolutely love the colors the tones the feel um yeah i just love them so this paper is just absolutely like spot on with my kind of thing. It's a mixture of birds and florals and pastels and bolds and everything nice. And then the back is a really cool craft with white dots. You don't get enough craft paper I don't think with patterns on. But I probably will mostly be using this side. Again from Vicky person's collection i'm really sorry that i can't say her name properly um this sheet is called little things and it's kind of a again a watercolored um effect with whatever you'd call this on this is what i would call a layering piece um or a mount and again on the back it's just a plain kind of color definitely these ones are better for background papers or like mounting your photos on whoa okay this is cool this looks like someone just got loads of like watercolor or inks or something and then just sploshed them all on and mushed them all right this is awesome 
definitely think I might use this as a background for something. This is when you find a bit of paper and you're like, please don't let the other side be nice. Okay, the other side's blank. Whew. Okay, so that's fine. I'm probably not going to use this. I'm just going to use this like... I'm going to try and do a whole background in this, I think. Then we've just got some plain cardstock. So we've got... Whoa, this is thick. One sheet of very thick white cardstock. And then... Basil Cotton Candy, which is a really beautiful pastel pink. And then again, a basil, I don't know if this has a special name, pepper. And it's like um, embossed dots. I don't know if that will pick up on the camera. Can you just sort of see that shining that's got like little embossed bits on? It's very cool. Again, I love these for mountain photos on. I don't really do a lot of backgrounds that are black. Um, I'm gonna try and do some process videos actually and you'll probably see that a lot of the ones I do are on white backdrops. So you can definitely see like that the um, colors are very well thought out throughout the papers that I picked. Um, I'm actually quite enjoying this like blue running through with the bits of pink because I don't really scrap with blue enough. So then we also get a packet of thickers. These ones are called Together and they're like a gold. These are really nice because they're quite a thin font and you get like two different heights and a good variety of numbers and some ampersands and little like asterisks and stuff as well, which is always good. Then the Vicky Bouton, Bouton die cut icons these are called so these are like the cardboard ephemera pieces um it says mixed media so i don't know if that means you can paint on them or what i'm not gonna open the packet but i'm gonna do a little close-up of the back so hopefully you can just get a little bit of an overview of the ones that are inside there's some like butterflies some um circles with like love hearts some little mason jars some cute little birds, some little like worded ones which are cool and they're all like a pretty good size so that's pretty cool as well. And then lastly in the main kit is these Miss Me by Bow Bunny 96 journaling cards and we've got some different sizes in there so there is 62 by 2, 23 by 3 and 16 4 by 4. I might open these and just show you a couple of those. So that, I think that's just the cover card. So there's more of the like greens and pinks. Um, so you get duplicates. So cupcakes, um, onto panels for journaling. That one's cute. That says cheers. Um, some cute ones with bunting, party time. Oh, I forgot they've got things on the back as well. One, two, three with sprinkles. So I think they were kind of like, kind of party and birthday related, some of them. Um, I'm not sure what's on the back of some of those though. Oh, you mustn't be afraid to sparkle a little brighter, darling. That's cute. A little party hat. Um, what's on the back of those ones that I accidentally skipped? Just some ampersands and some black dots. I'm not really going to go for the small ones actually, but you can tell that they're going to just have like loads of quotes and um, they're kind of pink turquoises and a little bit of gold. So that's really cool. So that's just a little bit of an overview of what you get in the main kit. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six main papers and three um, bits of cardstock, a thicker journaling cards and a very large pack of embellishment ephemera pieces. So I will show you the embellishment kit now.
So the embellishment kit is £12 and um, the amount of things you get each month vary. Obviously it depends on the cost that it costs um, Emma who does the kits to get in. So sometimes you'll get one, you might get five things, other months you might get three things. Um, but they're always amazing. So we have got, so we have got these flare by Bramble Fox and... <laughs> I'm a bit obsessed with these already. I'm just gonna take it out of the packet and show you closer. Like, oh my goodness, how cute are they? Um, so we've also got Loving This, Awesome, Dream Big and Just Lovely. Now I'm definitely not gonna struggle to use anything with an alpaca on because the place we go for Christmas has alpacas. They're just gonna be perfect. So secondly, we have these four frames from the Crepe Paper Good Vibe collection and we've got gold glitter, um, a gridded one, a craft one and another gold glitter one and they've got pom-poms around and I love pom-poms so these are just everything. Uh, my, these are the kind of things as well that I probably wouldn't necessarily look in a shop and buy for myself. But when they come in a kit, I'm like, yes, I'm so glad to have them. So that's very appreciated. And then lastly is the 6x12 sticker sheet, again, from the Good Vibes collection. So I'll just take that out of the packet and show you it a little bit closer. So we've got some gold foiling going on. Um, some birds, it's all good. A smile. Some cacti, I also love cacti. Pizza, I love pizza. This little guy, love. Um, oh, gonna focus a little bit there. You are my very favorite. Some little like journaling spaces. And then on the back, we've got listen to your heart. I believe in pizza, you do you. I love that quote. And my friend Lex says that a lot. Um, some little houses, yay, some flowers, um, more little birds and little stamp type things, more cacti, a tape deck which is super cool and a hug in a mug which I just love that. So that's just a little overview of the embellishment kit as well. So if you like this video please like and subscribe and if you want to see how I'm gonna kind of set this up on my pegboard then stay tuned and I'm just gonna swoop around. So this is my pegboard I'm gonna kind of try and jump in without being in this too much to show you things so over in this left hand corner behind this little um magazine holder thingy is all of the papers and um, behind the papers I keep the wallet that they all, that the whole kit comes in so that when I have scraps they can all go in there and then obviously I've just got the thickers here I've then got the stickers the frames the so the ephemera pack is up here as well as the journaling pack being behind but when this is opened I'll either washi tape it back up what I don't use or then empty these into this little pot that is currently housing the flare um, and then I just keep some washi tape here anyway because it might come in handy with the kit. So that is how I'm utilising everything so far and hopefully I will have a process video for you soon. Thanks for watching, bye!